Yeah, you do. I see Wisp is here. Wisp, do something. Okay. Well, we have our first one sent in. It's by Coconut. He sent this in like three days ago, so about time we're getting getting to it. Uh, Flora, to victory. 15. Man. Man. Guys, Flora, Flora or her sister, because it's... Flora. Flora is so much cuter. Flora, I, I think Flora is just better in every way. Yeah. So, okay, so the one advantage Felicia has is against mages, because Felicia's plate. Um, but Flora is just about better in everything else. She has one of the most interesting weapons in the game with Horfrost Knife, allowing you to have plus 20 defense during combat. Wow, and it's accelerate special trigger. Wow, and yeah. Plus 20 defense when up against sword, lance, axe, dragon storm, or beast damage. As long as you initiate combat. But that's huge. Basically, it takes her mediocre, mediocre defense and takes it to 40. So effectively, when she's fighting dragons, she has 40 defense, 42 res. That's so absurd. But that's not all. Because if foe can counterattack, you know, makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Basically, she automatically doubles. It's ridiculous how good she is. And you add another 10 defense. Flora's weapon is a short story. Is a short story. Wait, what does that mean? But Horfrost knife. But it's it's absurd, absurdly good. And then once you get your special special spiral triggers, so it's only um zero cooldown. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, and the defense ploy and an attack defense plus two. So yeah, what is there to say? Thirty nine HP, fifty one attack. That's low speed. Doesn't really matter if you use her offensively. And then she gets her defense stacked all the way to fifty when attacking, and her res is at forty two. Amazing. Also, some of the nicest thighs in the game. You say that about everyone. Look, man, you gotta appreciate <laughs> everyone has nice as often as you can. How can they be the best if everyone has them? No, not everyone has them. Are you kidding me? 90%. No? Wow, no. Yes. You, you are a deviant if you think 90% of the girls have t top tier thighs. <laughs> How about I show you your girl? Oh. We still have a list to keep track of, so let's not get too off schedule. Okay, but I want to show you everyone. I want to show everyone the hero that that this guy appreciates the most. Wow. Wow, Rabbit. Okay, no, absolutely not. Wow, ninety percent. Did did you say? Um, did, didn't you didn't the, you make plus ten Gwenlin? Ninety percent here is her legs. Did you make a ninety percent Gwenlin? Sorry, did you make Wait, a, what? Did you make a Gwenlin plus ten? Yes. <laughs> there you go. That doesn't mean I like them. Uh huh. Uh huh. It means I care about arena scoring. And she's better than Drog. She's better than Drog. Everyone's better than Drog at this point. Well, actually, because of the Bane fix, they score on the same level now. They do, but Drog still is just bad. You you rather take this girl over Drog. This monstrosity sausage. Do you know- I, I had to. Don't make fun of me. Like, from her knee to her, her buttocks, it's like as long as her body. And this- her- her thigh is larger than her body. It's so messed up. <laughs> This is it your is girl. You plus ten her. That, that just proves how thick she is. Her legs are bigger than her body. Yeah. All right. I do not like station. you. A speed Jenny. That's interesting. With Earth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, the way Earth boost works is if you have three more HP. <laughs> but I, I believe this is the lowest HP hero in the game. Then. That's a yikes. She might be able to. Proc Earth Boost against like a, 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 a or a <laughs> I think if something takes damage, it's basically the only hope she has to trigger Earth Boost. Infantry Pulse as well. Oh, why? What do you expect this to work with? It's, I think it's just I think it's it's a meme. Of this. Yeah, it's being yeah, it's clearly a meme, but like the sacrifice here of an Infantry Pulse and the Panic Foy Seal. Okay, S minus attack, sorry, minus HP plus speed Jenny with gravity plus having light. Nice. But seriously, is she the is she the lowest HP here in the game? Uh, I think Elise and Kagero are tied if they're minus HP. I have to check. All right. Yeah, I know Elise hits 27. Well, 
See, Earth, Earth boost against Elise, that's pretty good, right? Yeah, if you're like, doing it on this <laughs> stratum, maybe. Totally, 600 defense against Elise is gonna be super useful. Hell yeah. But yeah, um... Good job, I guess. I don't know what to say. Nice. All right, but yeah, we're gonna check you out. Color, I see Color. Sometimes he's not on for a couple of days, and I, and 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 I don't know, man. I've seen many whales quit the game, so. But I'm glad to see you're still here. But yeah, I'm expecting to see an amazing free. All right, plus ten free to plus attack. I mean, I mean that's pretty. That's pretty easy. Uh, Joel drawback gale force with heavy blade. Uh, this is the build I should be doing on my creed, but I'm not so sure if I really want to go for it. All right, my creed is also plus attack, but mine's minus defense, and I'm obviously not plus 10, but I know exactly what you're going for. Um, in Ether Raids is where I use my, my creed, and he works so well there. Basically, if I did exactly what you did, um, the idea is, because of Joel, he's going to get um, a guaranteed double, and he's going to prevent his opponent from doubling. All right, so he just runs in, hits them, uh, they hit him, and then he hits him again, so that's three, but the, the his attacks are plus one on them, so he triggers Gale Force. Uh, he likely survives because he has 40 defense, 30 res, and 45 HP. He has really good bulk. His low speed doesn't really matter too much because of his weapon, and then he triggers Gale Force, and then he runs off and kills something else. So yeah, it's it's actually so ridiculous for Creed. For now, I've given him distant defense, but I like what you, what you did. Gale Force, though, that's not a bad option at all. You can add defense smoke for even more dam more damage. Oh, you're right. You're right, because defense smoke will be hit everything behind Creed, and because he's cavalry, he can probably reach them all. Wait, one sec, how much is Creed's BST again? 162? I, I think it's actually 159 or 159? 158. Okay. No, he, he should have Gen 2. I think it's Gen, yeah, I thought it was Gen 2. Yeah, I don't think any Cav has actually broken 160 yet, oh, unless okay. you have the merge going. Okay. Maybe I just okay, remember yeah, it wrong. 157. 157, alright. Yeah, I just re definitely remember wrong. Um, no, even I have <laughs> overestimated it. But yeah, like, it, it doesn't matter that much, because his his weapon basically makes his low speed not much of a factor. But reaching 20s in speed is actually pretty safe, too. Because if you somehow fight against a character that that um is like has wary fighter or something you'll you'll just negate each other so generally they they have around 20 speed as well but yeah great creed um but basically what um what ramek said is basically the only thing i i would consider changing attack smoke for something else though i like his attack smoke i personally keep attack smoke on him as well he comes with it it's cheaper and then freezing seal it's up to you here but if you have any other special, I, I would say you might want to consider Vanish, but with Gale Force, it makes perfect, perfect sense not to. But yeah, like that's the only thing else to consider. Freeze, freezing Seal otherwise is excellent. Of course. Nerder Surter. 50 HP, 41 attack. Wait a second. How's your attack so low? Wait, is her attack really that low? <laughs> yes, it is. Imagine, guys, you are at plus four, plus attack, five dragon flowers, and you've reached a grand total of 41 attack. Granted, uh, yes, you're using fortress defense res three, but that's only two attack less. Damn. She has 24 base attack. Damn. Damn. Super, uh, super boon in attack at least, but uh... Wait, that's a super boon as well? Yes. Yeah, her attack is pretty garbage. That's mind-numbingly bad. Um, cool. So, all I gotta say for that is, um... Yeah, I guess... I guess at least you take her defense and res up to 31-35. You can technically use her defensively with Lightning Breath, taking uh, taking mage shots. Speed plus 3 makes sense. 41-42. 50 HP. Wow, she has a lot of HP, though. Uh, but yeah, keep 4 or 5 dragon. It makes sense. I'm kind of surprised, like... Um, for like Primarina, he also did, uh, also try to make Nini into a killer, but, uh, never really makes that much sense. She's a sweetheart, let her be. I know, I know, she is. Until she, she transforms into Ice Dragon and tries to kill everybody. Lovely. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of skills. You know, I kind of wonder why people like Ninian so much.
Wow, Jesus, there's a lot of skills. Point of the answer is not attack, you just said it. Yeah, it is. That That's the point. Which is why I think, you know, sa the sacrifice for a, a dual fortress skill is kind of rough. I mean, you do try and make use of her. Like, at 42 speed, it's it's okay enough to make her use make use of her defensively. But yeah, that's that's a high cost, high cost for uh for dancer. Generally, people just keep light's breath. Light breath has more attack than um thunder breath, and you also have the ability to buff, debuff. No, just buff. Whoopsies. Um, that helps a lot. All right, Martin, tier 19. What can I do? Recruits Lance. And you're you're uh, you're you're plus HP. Interesting. Damn, dude. Okay, Fury 3, Wings of Mercy, Odd Res Wave. Uh, Fury 3, Wings of Mercy is what I do on mine, so I totally believe it. Not using Sapphire Lance is decent enough. You're trying to take her res really, really high up, though. At 6, 43. Add another 7, 50 res. Okay, but why? Because the issue of Azura against Dragons is generally that she doesn't do enough damage. Dragons are way have way too much defense. Um, so even if you double, like, a Noe or something, they... Don't die. You're going to rely on that Glacies. But I see what you're going for. It's just really interesting. But plus HP, man. Ooh, interesting. Interesting boon. I really feel bad for the people who got, like, plus HP. Sorry, like, minus attack plus speed. Or something like that. Or plus speed minus attack. And then they just went for plus HP. Because it's, like, a better compromise in their books. And then, and then the game's like, oh, hey. It doesn't matter now. That's definitely happened to me a few times already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, luckily I just committed to it and just said the heck with it. Whatever happens, happens. And look now, I'm already getting the payoff. Hmm. Um. Yeah, and she'll eventually get her own Holy Lance. What is it called again? Uh, Blessed Lance or Blessed Lance. I can't remember if that's the name. Yeah, that's. I think. I think you got it right. You are right. There are not very many chances to get um get a proper Azura, but I'm gonna flex here and say, she's my girl. And even though I never try to pull for this many of her, I got this many of her. So I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the refine. Whenever whenever it does come, it's gonna be huge. I still use her every single week in Arena Salt because I just love using Azura. I'm gonna be super upset if it's just like a gem weapon still. <sighs> I hope not. You, you jinxed it. I really hope not. All right, let's start with Lucina. Can't decide. Death Flow Four. <laughs> what? Why? She's Beautiful. so fast though. I love it. I love it already. It's oh so overkill. It's such a good idea too. Flashing blade. Okay. What the heck? I told you just go for Swiss Sparrow. Or close counter. Man. Man, this is okay. Um Alright, I'll quickly explain this build. This is this is good. This is really good. A lot of skills available too. Attack opening is kinda of, kinda of bit obnoxious. Uh isn't Lucina's C skill naturally really good, isn't it? What it's is it? the, distant guard. Distant guard, yeah. It's already naturally really, yeah. really good. So I'm I'm surprised by that. Anyways, um our, people already know how it works. Future vision into attack speed link. So you t so you future vision attack speed link triggers and you add six attack, six speed. So you reach 59, 53. Um, and then you just, act when you attack, well, on sword, lance, axe, dragon stone, you add another four to everything. So you hit, already hit some ridiculous numbers and then you use death blow, I guess. I guess it's fair to use flashing blade at 47 speed because then you add another four anyways. Generally add another four and you already can get another six from from future vision. Wow, that is that's redonkulous, dude. And seven flowers, which is a huge commitment. So that means you should be plus one to everything and then plus two to most likely attack and speed, I would say. So plus seven is a good place to stop at if if all you care is about offensive stats. Also, I just think she's so pretty, so confident. So has nothing to do with the games, right? Okay. But yeah, all in all, great. Uh, Blue Flame is interesting, but I guess you want your specials 
um, earlier than rather than Ether. Personally, I still think Ether is so good. Um, I think close counter Ether would would be perfect for your Lucina, and then it would be attack defense link though. But you know what? This is really good offensively. Attack speed link works really well to Flashing Blade, which works really well with fast blue flames, and then of course you know just death flow, just flatten them. So yeah, 61, 65, you hit so hard. Great, great Lucina. One of the best I've seen. I still think the best one I've seen is Close Counter Lucina. But what you're doing is excellent too. Excellent offensively. It's just I think Close Counter Lucina just gets that perfect balance between attack, attack and defense. But then again, he has a plus you 10. Passed him. Yeah. I looked away from him. Nina time. Oh, Nina. 54 attack, 46 speed. Man, there's so many good archers this week, huh? Alright. Fishy Bow, for those who forgot, is Desperation in the Bow, which is nice for Nina because her natural bow is kind of cruddy. Yeah, Shining Bow. This is one of the worst bows in my opinion. I don't know what they were doing. If foe's defense is greater than foe's um, res plus 5, deals 7 extra damage. It's pure damage. I guess it's for killing armors and stuff, but that's hardly anything. Rather, using Fishy Bow allows you to keep Desperation, so you don't have to use um, chill, chill, sorry, you don't have to use Desperation in your B slot, and you can use any other B skill. And Chill Speed is not a bad one. Um, maybe not Chill Speed because you're already really quick, but depending on your team, Chill Speed might make perfect sense. I don't know. If you can, if you can throw in a Chill Chill uh, Chill skill with your team, uh, you should probably do it. But you don't want to sacrifice anything offensive for it, and you know Nina wouldn't do it. Um, defense ploy, she makes it work. 38 res is more than enough. Odd, odd attack wave to get her to 60. Uh, Fury, Fury's good. 54, 46, and gets her into Fishy Bow earlier. Yeah, excellent build. Luna. Yeah. And then plus attack, that's great. She has a really nice neck. Like, that choker is so cute. I want, I want a Nina. It's just she's so hard commitment to make proper, but yeah, um, I I knew real Fujoshi's uh, back in high school, aka rotten girls, aka girls who really like Yaoi, aka girls who kept pairing me up with other guys, so I ha kind of have a soft spot for Nina. <laughs> I'm not gay. All right, but yeah, here's Ramex. As you say. Uh, attack, defense, solo, lunge, defense, smoke, heavy blade, three, gale force, reposition, new, new, you, new. It's gonna trigger somebody out there. Uh, 56 attack, 44 speed, 40 defense, 21 res, 46 HP, uh, three flowers, leg yarn. I'm pretty sure he's summer support leg yarn. Uh, he likes leg yarn because leg yarn's hot and edgy and has nice lips. And beautiful red eyes. And if you marry Legyarn, your your father is now Surtur. So great family to be a part of. But the entire point of this build is simple. She already has really good defense. If you have any kind of buffs on your team, you get 50% of that turned into damage. Um, pure damage. Yeah, adds 50% of total bonuses on foes to units. Sorry, attack speed, defense, res during combat. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Ooh. Uh, never mind. It's, uh, it's really... Okay, wait. Did I remember this wrong? Yeah, I, I did remember this wrong. Now I remember. Okay, never mind. Um, you get extra stats, which is cool. It's still ridiculous. But yeah, this is basically for killing emblem teams. Anyways, with all that said, attack defense solo. So really easily, she should be alone. She should have 62 attack. And then with new, if that, if that triggers. And then heavy blade triggers. And then she gale force in. Uh, this is more for like ether raids or something, because then you, you basically like, leg yarn attacks, and then she lunges in, so she gets past, past the enemy target because you switch spaces, and then she can go for something a lot softer to get the kill on. So if somebody bait, baits out this leg yarn, she can actually just go for um, something more, more easy to kill. So that's not bad at all. Hmm. So when is the next stream? <laughs> who, who asks that? Well, during the stream. I don't know. Tomorrow. We have to check out the new banner tomorrow. Red Duel Flying Fodder. I feel really bad about about that. Uh, but I do understand. A lot of people fodder off their um, leg yarns for uh, for Red Duel Flying for Sheeta. It does make sense because Sheeta is a lot easier to merge and use. But still. Uh, but yeah. Radimax really likes her. 
Wait a second. Does Leg Yarn look like a Latino girl? Okay, just ignore me then.